What's going on with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike. Uh, and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect the Complete Control MK2 with uh, Ableton Live. Uh, you know, you may have opened it up and connected your Complete Control and you're like, yo, it's not doing anything. What do I need to do next? Thought it was just supposed to be plug and play. Well, it's not. It's a few things you got to do to kind of get it set up. And I'm going to show you what you're going to need to do. So first thing, and I'm going to show you on a Mac. I'll put the PC instructions that I found online uh, in the description, but um, uh, I'll show you how to do it here on a Mac because I'm using a Mac and I don't have a PC to show it to you on. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your uh, regular hard drive, your main hard drive, where your library is. Click on that. Then you're going to go to application support. Then you're going to scroll down to you find native instruments. Then you're going to scroll down even further. Uh, until you find this thing called host integration, which is right here. Then you're going to see Ableton Live, and you're going to get this complete control MK2. You're just going to copy this entire folder. Yeah, just hit copy there. Then you're going to go uh, to your applications here. This is really cool. You're going to go here on Ableton, right click, hit show package contents. All right. Go on in there, gonna go into app resources. You're gonna scroll down till you see MIDI remote scripts. Feel free to fast forward, rewind this because I know I'm going through it fast. And you're just going to paste this in here. I can just hit Command V and it's gonna paste that in there. And now you have that folder, that complete control MK2 folder inside of here. Once you've done that, you can now open up Ableton Live, I'll go on it. Three, two, one, and we should be in Ableton here in just a second. All right, so we'll go here to preferences, and you're going. This is I've already set mine up, but you, what you're going to do is go to preferences, and you're going to go to um, any empty slot you have on control services. It's going to be under the link in MIDI tab. And you're going to click on your complete control MK2. And then you're going to make sure the input and the output are both set as the complete control uh, MK2. Once you've done that, now you'll be able to easily navigate and control Ableton using this. So if you want to bring up the mixer, you can press the mixer button. You can control the volumes on everything. That's over here. Let's go over here. See, so I can control that volume there, volume here. Everything's controller on the mixer. I can mute solo, you know, different ones. I can do the play, the stop, the record, the metronome on and off, loop, the tap tempo, one, two, three, four. Manically starts with playing, uh, quantize, autom automation, all of that good stuff like that. Now you're you're ready up and going cooking and you can control and move through Ableton using the little um, encoder knob and go up and down your clips and over into your scenes. You know, if you got clips, you can launch scenes just like that. So it's pretty cool control there inside of Ableton using the complete control tool. Really quick down and dirty video. Hope that helped you get up and running. Uh, we'll talk to you guys on the next video. Hit the like, the comment, the subscribe button, and I'm out. Holla at your boy.